What's up everyone? Welcome to another Tuesday tip. Today I wanted to talk to you about standardizing your form. Why is it important? Let's get into it. So what do I mean by standardizing form? I don't just mean, you know, you have, you know, the bench set on the same hole every single time or, you know, you're doing it off of, you know, this peg on the prime machine. No. What I mean by standardizing form is you're paying attention to absolutely everything. You're paying attention to your body positioning. You're paying attention to how your core is braced. You're paying attention to your points of contact on whatever piece of machinery that you're using or, you know, whatever free weight exercise that you're doing. By establishing, you know, by standardizing your form, you're truly able to to record your progress. Because at the end of the day, that's all we're after. If every time you step in the gym, you try to progress something, but your form isn't standardized, i.e., you know, this week I did my dumbbell side laterals really, really, really strict, but, you know, the following week I wanted to, you know, make progress. So I went five pounds heavier and, you know, started doing a little bit of this. It's very hard to measure your quantifiable, pro quantifiable progress if you don't have your form standardized. What else goes into standardizing your form besides your body positioning? Uh, the main thing is the tempo in which you're lifting. So once you have your actual form standardized for an exercise, you need to pay attention to standardizing the tempo in which you're performing the reps. So if every single rep you are, you know, getting a good two or three second eccentric, not pausing in the hole, but killing momentum, and then getting a nice full contraction at the top of every single rep, and again, not pausing at the top of the contraction, but, you know, spending time and really getting a full contraction before going into the next rep, doing 10 reps like that, you know, is going to be way different of a stimulus perceived by your body than doing them like that, right? So... By standardizing not only our form, but our tempo, I get back to we're truly able to quantifiably measure our progress. Um, for those of you that track your work, this is exceedingly, exceedingly important. For those of you that don't track your work, this is going to make, uh, make your training just a whole lot better. You know, you're going to have better form on everything, you're going to have better reps on everything, and subsequently your progress is going to be a lot faster. So regardless if you're tracking everything or not, standardizing your forms on your exercises is low-hanging fruit in terms of progress in the gym. Hopefully you can apply this tip. If you liked it, be sure to follow along. We're doing them every Tuesday. I'll see you all next time.